Have you noticed that if you walk into a room full of people, if there is one person that is full of energy, that's laughing, that's happy, and everybody is gravitating towards them, it's because they are whole and healthy and they know who they are and they emit this amazing energy. And everybody wants to just bathe in that energy. Everyone wants to be around them. That person probably really knows who they are, is authentic and loves themselves. And that's why everybody gravitates towards them. That's what we need to strive to be as empaths. We can uplift the world by uplifting ourselves. So it is absolutely not selfish to love yourself. I cannot stress this enough. And a lot of people still have a hard time grasping this because they see others suffering in the world. You can help those who are suffering by helping yourself. But when you are suffering, you cannot help others who are suffering. If you want to see more empathic leaders so that our world becomes more equal and less divisive, it means more empaths have to step up and really take care of yourself. Because you, as one person, you are one cell of this entire organism, organism being life on earth. We are all connected. And just like in your body, all your cells are connected. If one cell is sick, if it spreads it to the other cells, that sickness spreads. But if one cell is super healthy and lifts up the other cells around it, then wellness spreads. You want to be a spreader of wellness. If you don't heal your past trauma, you end up looking through life and the world through a trauma lens. You end up interpreting things through the eyes of a victim as if things are happening to you instead of things happening for you. We need to strengthen ourselves to get into a position of feeling that we are creators of our world as opposed to reacting to the world outside.